Hi guys, you are watching Weekend Movie Channel, and these are top 10 good thrillers released in 2023 that you can watch online right now. I hope everyone will find something new to watch, and if not, follow the links in the description below to other videos on this topic. You will probably find something new to watch. Operation Napoleon Iceland, Reykjavik Kristen is a young successful lawyer, with a bright future ahead of her. One evening, her apartment receives a call from her younger brother, who informs her that he is in trouble while on a glacier. The girl receives a video and photos, from which it follows that the guy found a Nazi airplane that crashed back in the 40s. One moment, and Christine's old life is turned upside down. An unknown armed man bursts into the apartment. The heroine does not realize that together with her brother, they are involved in a secret operation codenamed Napoleon. The creators tried to convey the harshness of Icelandic nature through a cold color scheme and snowy winter landscapes. Local landscapes dilute a rather trivial and simple plot. Nevertheless, the movie keeps the intrigue until the very finale. Fans of adventure, mysteries and conspiracy theories will definitely like the picture. The Royal Hotel while traveling carefree in Australia, American tourists Hannah and Liv discover they are running out of money. Liv convinces Hannah to take a temporary job at the bar of the Royal Hotel, a dusty, fading old backwater somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Billy, the owner, is in the habit of hiring only young girls, which attracts the bar's main audience, miners working at the local mines. As you can guess, the heroines get a lot of attention from the male population, and not all of it is to their liking. Soon the female tourists find themselves trapped in an uneasy situation that quickly spirals out of control. The picture raises a heavy theme of domestic violence, and also contrasts male and female. The creators did a great job on the oppressive atmosphere, full of despair and anxiety. The bar, where most of the action takes place, is so grotesque and gloomy that it creates a ground for all the experiences that take place there. Accused The main character, Harry, is a young man of Arab origin, heading from London to the suburbs to his parents. During the trip, the guy learns a terrible thing. There was a terrorist attack at the train station, where he was leaving from. Getting to his parents' house, Harry first calls his girlfriend, Chloe. She reports the first pictures of the suspected terrorist, who strangely resembles the protagonist. This coincidence is enough for Harry's former classmate to immediately inform the world that she knows the criminal personally. From that moment on, his life turns into hell. Without being able to prove his case, the guy is looking for a secluded place in his native walls. However, the hunt is already open, and two aggressive strangers are ready to take revenge. Once again, modern artists have raised the sensitive topic of the harmful influence of media and social networks. It seems that this movie better reflects the problematic nature of the internet environment. The creators skillfully keep the viewer in suspense, making him more and more eager for the denouement. Last Night of Amore After 35 years of service in the Milan police force, Officer Franco Amore is about to retire. However, on his last day on the job, something strange happens. During a surprise party, Amore receives a phone call asking him to take care of one more case before leaving law enforcement for good. He rides out to the crime scene where his best friend and partner, Dino, has been brutally murdered. The circumstances of his death leave many unanswered questions, which brings Franco to the center of the investigation. Soon he realizes that he got involved in dangerous games involving the Mafia. The hero, and everyone he loves so much, threatens to die. Plot-wise, the picture differs little from the pile of modern crime dramas. However, this movie stands out with a dynamic narrative that alternates between several points of view. This clever approach allows you to better understand the motives of the characters, while giving the story additional intensity. To Together with excellent visuals and cast, the movie is able to interest the sophisticated viewer. The Marsh King's Daughter Helena spent her childhood living with her parents in the deep wilderness of Michigan. The girl spent a lot of time with her father Jacob, who taught her how to hunt and survive in the wilderness. One day a terrible event happened, after which Helena and her mother fled to the city and Jacob went to prison. A lot of time has passed since then. Helena has successfully married and had a child. It seems life is finally at peace. But suddenly, her father escapes from prison. The girl decides to protect her family from the impending danger at any cost. The picture is an adaptation of the best-selling novel of the same name by Karen Dion, 
The film mesmerizes with its picturesque nature, against the background of which dramatic scenes unfold. There is anxiety and suspense in the air. This is a strong, old-school thriller that will appeal to all fans of the genre. Lost in the Stars Hefei and his wife Lemuzi are vacationing on one of the resort islands. The vacation is going fine, but one evening, Lemuzi disappears without a trace. The desperate husband unsuccessfully searches for the missing woman, and then, two weeks later, when there are only a few days left until the end of his visa, he wakes up and sees a strange woman in his bed. She assures him that she is Lemuzi, his wife. All the photos, videos from hotels, stores, and even from Hefei's own cell phone suggest that she is. But he knows for a fact that this is the first time he's seen the girl. Then a famous lawyer takes on the case, and new secrets begin to surface. This movie is a cocktail of melodrama, thriller, detective, and action. There is a lot of intrigue, plot twists, and also found a place for touching moments. The movie became a real hit in the Chinese box office, as it is made qualitatively and hits many categories of viewers at once. The picture will be interesting to watch for all fans of the above genres, and the movie will definitely brighten up some of the evenings. A Haunting in Venice The legendary detective Hercule Poirot is retiring. It is time to enjoy a simple life. However, suddenly his peace is broken by an old friend, the writer Ariadne Oliver. She asks Poirot to help in an important case and invites him to a spiritualist seance. The purpose of the procedure, to summon the spirit of the deceased daughter of a famous opera singer. The hero agrees. However, during the session there is a mysterious murder, and now Poirot has to solve it. This film is another adaptation of the work of the great writer Agatha Christie, with the correction of some changes in the history and place of action. Now the events take place in Venice. The picture retains the spirit of the classic detective, using the usual elements of the narrative. The authors skillfully create an enchanting atmosphere of mysticism through not only plot twists, but also gloomy visuals. Leave the world behind. The story begins when the main character, Amanda Sanford, books a remote luxury home for a weekend getaway. This is a rare opportunity for husband Clay and their two children to spend time together. Away from the humdrum, everyday life of New York City, the family for the first time allows itself to truly relax, not denying their favorite hobbies and bad habits. But soon, the vacation is overshadowed by suspicious events. Right into the beach crashes a huge tanker, disconnects cell phone service and the internet does not work television. Suddenly, in the middle of the night on the doorstep, appears the owner of the house George with his daughter and asks to let them spend the night as on the East Coast there was a massive power outage. Beyond the four walls, something untoward is happening, and the heroes have to find out the truth. Fear and anxiety envelop the characters with every scene. With the help of such directing, the authors create an atmosphere of tension and distrust on the screen, and the star cast perfectly portrays vulnerable people caught in the epicenter of a global catastrophe. The Killer Paris the protagonist is an unnamed assassin, preparing to fulfill another mission. After waiting for the victim, the man suddenly makes a mistake and shoots a random girl. The hero manages to escape, but he cannot escape the wrath of the customer. Returning home to the Dominican Republic, he learns that at the hands of employers suffered a loved one. Then the man decides to take the path of revenge and to eliminate all his offenders one by one. This picture is based on the French graphic novel of the same name. The movie is a return of the legendary David Fincher to the dark cold thrillers for which the director is known. Perhaps only he can afford to spend the first 20 minutes of the timeline showing in detail the routine of a hired hitman before a mission. The measured and straightforward plot does not try to surprise the viewer with unexpected turns. If you like meditative movies and neo-noir aesthetics, you should definitely watch this movie. Anatomy of a Fall In southeastern France lives a couple, Sandra and Samuel. She is a successful writer. He is busy raising their child Daniel, who suffers from visual impairment after an accident. The young man decides to take the family dog for a walk. Upon his return, he is horrified to find his father's body lying in the snow. At the time, there was only a husband and wife in the house, and therefore only one of two scenarios could have happened. Either he fell or was pushed. 
A real family drama is played out in the courtroom. The couple's tangled relationship is under the scrutiny of the investigation. The court is trying to reconstruct the picture of what happened. Meanwhile, Daniel sharply changes his testimony, which complicates the situation of his mother. The creators fill the plot with a subtle and multi-layered dramaturgy. The director plunges into the complex relationships of the characters, but does not approach the unraveling of what happened to Samuel. The information is presented in small snippets through Sandra's memories and the stories of random witnesses. The viewer frantically tries to form a picture of what happened, and this intrigue is maintained until the finale. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. Share your movie impressions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and put the big thumbs up. See you. Bye.